we see all kinds of animals at Arvonia Vets, and today is no exception. I'm going to see a small chihuahua whose owner has brought him in with a suspected slipping patella. So who have we got here? This is Mr Pickles, he's four years old and he was playing with his little buddy Monty the other day and I heard this squeaky, squeak okay. or a yelp. Um, I looked and he was just stood there with his um, right rear leg in the air yeah. as if he'd sort of trodden on something okay. or... Um, so obviously what the first thing I did was just look at his paw just to see whether you know anything was yeah. stuck in there but it was okay right. um, and then um, it was all right for a while and then they were playing again and then another yelp so obviously there's something okay. not quite right and again his leg was lifted off the floor slightly and how long did so he keep the leg off the ground? I would just say a matter of seconds, seconds. I'd okay. say right. yeah what we'll be looking at doing is palliative work to support what the, what the vets can do okay. and hopefully avoid him needing any kind of surgery. So first of all, that, and that will mean looking at his whole body, not just, yes. not just the leg. Okay. So if we say hello, you can still make a fuss of him <laughs> if we want him to know that he's okay. And I try and make the treatments and the examination feel like a glorified stroking session so that he doesn't think we're going to do anything horrible. So feeling this, his whole body is happier doing that. Okay. It's not so happy going there. So through his shoulders, he's really tipping himself mm -hmm. onto the, the left four. <laughs> Please, there we are. And it's oh no, you're going to get cold. There we are. You won't get cold in here, mate. It's no. nice and warm. That allows me to feel through. Yeah. Yes, he is slightly overweight. There's, there's looseness over the ribs. I can find them, but they're... They're there somewhere. It's a little bit like myself. <laughs> no, they're in there. <laughs> hey. oh, baby. Okay. Yes. All the time I'm using his resistance to help just alter the resting state of some of these muscles. Okay. So by um, letting them think that nothing's going on, they generally relax in and let you do more. So my index finger on my left hand is lifting up through his chest muscles whilst I'm supporting him through his chest and then doing a counter rotation through his trunk. Now the other thing, the little tiny, in between each bone of the spine, each vertebra, you've got tiny little postural muscles okay. and they start up here and they end right down here. So by using the tail we can very, very gently traction and alter the angle of pull through to wake some of these muscles up. And it is gentle, we don't, don't, we don't tug, but it does allow you to access these really deep postural muscles okay. because when they have any little incident, those muscles tend to switch off, which nobody quite understands why but mm. they're why everything hurts a lot more and why the big muscles, the big surface muscles go into spasm. Legs with the yeah. other leg up in the air. That's what they do, they just, they just isolate the um, leg. Yeah, and he doesn't sort of, yeah, you he's know... Yeah, he's, he's, got, he's got slip in patella, he's just yeah. done it then. Yeah, okay. I've actually put it yeah. back a few times myself when I've just mm. held his leg and I've actually, well, I've mm. just felt yeah. it go back on its own. That's not pleasant, okay. Yeah, that is yeah. definitely what it is. That may, you're probably going to need to get your vet to check that again because that, yeah. if he's four, it's the likelihood is it can lead to a sort of increased wear and tear through there, things yes. like that. So we need to just make sure that's okay. But that, yeah, that slipped very easily. I was hardly doing anything. I know, darling. There you go. Okay, now if you'll let me, I'm just going to do a gentle lift. But I can leave you on the deck as well. There you go. You all right, darling? You're very brave. You're very brave because you're not used to all this, are you? There you go, okay. And I would leave that as, a, as the first treatment because it's important we don't overdo it. Mm -hmm. And the 
the tendency is always to want to do loads, but actually the, the central nervous system can only take so much in any one go. And unlike us, if you're doing the right things, dogs and other animals will just let you get on with it. Whereas with people, we have to explain why we're doing everything. Whereas with these guys, they just intuitively, if you're doing the right thing, they let you. Yeah, and if you're not, then they fidget out of the way. I'm Tony Nevin, wildlife osteopath, and you're watching Dr. Zoolittle.